Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments are for EA. This is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. And uh, I just read your independent writing practice test number 39, and I believe this is your midterm exam for my TOEFL level 6 class. So there's good and bad news. The, the good news is you understand exactly how to organize this writing assignment. You really did. You answered the question. There's no doubt about it. Your second paragraph, you talk about why some people want to spend large amounts of money. In your third par paragraph, you talk about how others are comfortable uh, making a, just a comfortable living. And then in the conclusion, you get to your own argument. So you exactly understand uh, how to answer this question. The bad news is, is you have a lot of language problems. They are so big and so severe, it's making it difficult to understand your ideas. Okay, so let's take a look at one of your paragraphs. I'm going to edit paragraph number two. I think it's a good idea for you to pull the essay to go to the website where you took this test and then read the paragraph with me. You may want to pause the video. Okay, you say, one of important to make large amount element in life to spend supplies. That doesn't make any sense. There's no subject, there's no verb in there. It's not making a lot of sense. Now what you want to say maybe is this. You might want to say, uh, some people believe it's important to make large amounts of money in order to spend uh, money on their life supplies. You may want to rewind that and listen to that again. That's how I would rewrite your first sentence. Then you say, we need the money for everything we cannot live without the money. We, we need the money for everything. You got two different sentences in there. You're putting two sentences together with no punctuation. Uh, that's called a run-on sentence. And uh, I don't think that works very well either. And then right after they say, however, others are satisfied to earn a comfortable living. Now you put three sentences together with no punctuation. You got to stop it. Do not do that. That's going to really cause trouble with your writing. You need to know when one sentence ends and a new sentence begins. So I would say, I would say uh, here, some people believe that it's very important to make large amounts of money. Actually, I'm going to the next paragraph. Sorry about that. I was looking at paragraph one. The, the, the next sentence was saying, we need the money for everything, period. Uh, we cannot live without the money. But those two sentences basically say the same thing. You don't need to. So you can probably make that sentence more concise and then combine it with the next sentence. You say, for example, money is very important to feel confident uh, when someone is able, you want to put when someone is able to purchase things like clothes, comma, food, comma, pay for the house. I would put mortgage. The mortgage is the payment that you pay for the house. Look it up in the dictionary. So you, you might put, or pay, how about this, clothes, comma, food, comma, house payment, comma, that if maybe put a period here and then say if you I don't know about you because previously you said we so I didn't know about shifting to you that's probably not a good idea you want to be more consistent in your point of view here so you say if we want to earn a, a comfortable living you left out the word living there but comma if we want to have large amounts of money comma we can we can make more than, how about this, we can earn enough or earn more than what we want for our life and our children, maybe put a period, then we can uh, have enough money for a big house for a family. Maybe put a period there and then say, may your kids studying, how about this, maybe, you might want to say, maybe our kids might study in a private school and also they may want to learn different languages. Maybe put another period, say maybe 
you have um, housekeepers or several housekeepers, which also cost money. I don't know about the word servant. Servant's probably not the best word there. We don't really use that now. Uh, probably housekeepers is the best word there. You say, if we have money, maybe comma, we can invest the money and maybe save the money for our children. My viewpoint is I don't lose my time without making large amounts of money. Do you think that the money stems from life? Now, I would be careful in that final sentence in that second paragraph, don't worry about your own viewpoint. The purpose here is to simply discuss why some want to spend a lot of money, and then the third paragraph, you discuss why others just want to make an average amount of money, and then when you get to the fourth paragraph, that's where you state more of your own argument. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, let's take a look at the rubrics for this particular assignment. Um, fortunately, I'm going to have to put you pretty low here, and uh, 2.0 out of 5, 14 points out of 30, there were just so many problems with your basic sentence structure. You have to be able to control your sentences and your vocabulary and your grammar and other aspects of your word choice or you're simply not going to be able to score very high on the TOEFL IBT. I'm being honest with you. Remember, on the IBT you have to type. Maybe you don't like to type, right? But actually you have no choice. A lot of these tests, there's no option. You have to type those things. And when you're doing your papers, you know, for your graduate classes, you will also need to be able to type those papers. So you can't really use an excuse that I don't have good typing. The only thing I can tell you there is you got to learn. I think it's going to be very important. It will be a great investment in your time, I think, to learn your, you know, typing skills and word processing skills. Because I can see that getting in the way of your score a little bit. But the main thing is you have to control your sentences. So your score here is 2.0 out of 5, 14 points out of 30. What do you do? you got to have more practice. You need a lot more practice in two areas. Vocabulary and grammar, not even writing. You understand how to organize your ideas. I don't have any problem with that. But your vocabulary and your grammar problems are getting in the way of your ideas. So you want to learn... Learn all the words in Vocabulary Lesson 3. Learn the words in Vocabulary Lesson 4, Vocabulary Lesson 5, and also Vocabulary Lesson 6. And also you want to practice in my Grammar Lesson Number 7, focus on the grammar exercises. That's also going to be very, very important for you at this stage. Now, if you don't learn the words in my course, you will continue to have vocabulary problems. You're not going to be able to solve these things until you learn more vocabulary. And also work really, really hard in the grammar part of my course as well. All right, anyway, thank you very much. Thank you for completing uh, the practice test and uh, keep up the good work.